Welcome everybody to another Ben's Works tutorial. Today we got the radio removal for our S-Class 220 chassis. Uh, you will be needing a pocket screwdriver, a 20 torque screwdriver, a flashlight. Um, it's not too hard. I would say medium size for difficulty. And uh, first thing we're going to do is move the shift out of the way by putting it in drive. A little warning, uh, if you do tend to uh, put this in drive, make sure you put the e-brake on just for your safety. Um, First thing we're going to do is open this ashtray area here. And if you notice on both sides, there's a 20 torque screws on both sides. What I'm going to do is remove them. And I'll show you a quick video of what they look like. And that's what they look like. And then move, remove the other side as well. Once you do so, you're going to push on the ashtray uh, outwards, push it in so you get more clearance, and then just pull it out. Um, you're going to see this on the back is your cigarette lighter connector. Just push on the tab like so and uh, just remove it out of the way. I'm also going to show you on the older S-Class. I got a picture coming up soon. I'm just going to briefly stop this video here. And if you have this type of S-Class, after you have removed the cigarette lighter, what you're going to do is remove this wood green here. Uh, my arrows are showing the areas where you're going to want to pry against. Uh, be careful prying against this wood. It will chip if uh, not careful. But uh, once you remove that, it's pretty much going to be the same as removing the radio we're doing on this video. Uh, you should see a couple uh, screws, uh, top and bottom for the radio itself. And I'm going to continue on with this one. Um, now as to the AC controller, remove that out the way. There are no screws, except for the bottom ones that are held in by the cigarette lighter. Just uh, up top, there's uh, those tabs. And they go in these slots right here. On both sides and then if you notice uh, looking you'll see two more of just about the identical screws on the bottom and again uh, 20 torque screws so what I'm gonna do is remove those as well I'm just gonna speed it up make the video a little more quicker so now you have remove both of those if you notice up top here this is wood green uh, that just pops out and what I do is I stick my screwdriver carefully on one side it pops out and then do the same to the other side and again uh, all that holds that in is these little flexible uh, tabs And if you notice, if you look inside, you're going to see another set of screws. Again, T20 screws. And then what you're going to want to do is remove those as well. and then do the same to the other side and all these screws are pretty much the same literally the same size all of them all six of them so no matter where you put them in they're all the same and then once you do so just pull it out uh, be careful not to crack the screen and you notice uh, on the later models that use uh, fiber optics connectors on there just uses one uh, called the most system he just uses one connector and I use my pocket screwdriver push it in and you see the little red light showing that's your fiber optics for your radio Telead, all the systems Mercedes uses and that's pretty much it guys uh, again we got a couple more things coming up um, some S class, uh, some overall repairs, maintenance stuff. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thanks again.